All right, we have a sign under tension, seven kilogram sign. These are two cables. Uh, they're both at the same angle, 25 degrees to the ceiling or beam or whatever it is. First thing is to draw a force diagram. Because the angles are the same, we're looking for the tension, by the way. We want to identify all the forces. Looking for the tension in each cable, but because the angles are the same, the tensions are the same. So you do not need to do cable one and cable two. Draw a force diagram. There's the dot. You got the weight. I'm going to use FG for weight. If you want to use W, that's fine. That weight is 68.6. That's 7 times 9.8. 68.6 newtons. And you've got the tension going that way and that way because there are two cables, T and T. Because this is at an angle, don't tilt your axes. People want to tilt axes like they do with a, a, a ramp. Don't do that. Not for this. That's only on a ramp question. No ramp involved. So th this is where the triangle is. Up here, you get a triangle here and a triangle over here. That's 25 degrees, 25 degrees. That's Tx and Tx. We don't need to do anything with Tx. It doesn't help us in this question. And this is Ty, Ty. So solve for this in the y-axis, or x, some y-axis, net force in the y-axis equals zero. Well, what is in the y-axis? Don't put 2t because these tensions are not in the y-axis. That cable's pulling to the right and up. This cable's pulling to the left and up. It's only, it's not t, it's ty. And you have two of them. 2ty, not 2t, not 2t, not 2t, but 2ty equals w. And so divide by 2, so ty equals w all over 2, which is 68.6 all over 2. And that comes out, what is that going to be, 34.3? Um, 34.3. That's not the answer. It's not the final answer. It's only the value of that. So if this is 34.3 newtons, and that's 25 degrees, the sine, I'm going to use sine because that's opposite the angles. Sine of 25 is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. I want to know the value of the hypotenuse. That's going to be the, the, the tension. Once I find this, I've also found that because they both have the same value. All right, so I'll use sine to solve the rest of this. Um, the sine of 25 degrees equals opposite, which is Ty over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite side over the hypotenuse. So T equals, multiply both sides by T. Divide both sides by the sine of 25. and the t's cancel over here. So you end up with ty all over the sine of that angle, which is 34.3 divided by the sine of 25 degrees, which came out to be, already calculated it, came out to be 81 newtons. And that is in each cable. All right.